That's but, the one you were talking yeah, about. Just, <laughs> she has such great aerial burst movement that especially if you ban the flat stages, if you can find a stage like PS2, like Small Battlefield, where you have these dual platforms, where Bayo can kind of just literally circle camp Kazi here, here, here because of the Ooze Witch Twist, because of the ABK, to just kind of fly around and outside of that that electric range. And she, yeah. you have to guess, you have to try and call out the, those Witch Twists from the right range preemptively, or they lead into huge amounts of damage. No, absolutely, and I think this is this definitely was the right choice instead of going for Fox. Should Snow be a Fox main because Bayo can play more of a ground game. You're talking about a different approaches that Fox could do, and it's very linear. But Bayonetta, of course, the Witch Twist uh, from the side, of course, from the air, uh, can avoid a lot of things that Kazuya wants to go for. We got to watch out for this Rage Drive because you know one grab and all of a sudden Bayonetta stock could be immediately gone. And I also want to see how does Pattaya pressure the ledge against Snow. Bayonetta, when she's not comboing you into the top corner, er, is going to finish those combos most of the time by falling to ledge. Because for each special she throws out, right, she has additional landing lag. Like, it gives you a much better window to punish her. When she grabs ledge, there's no additional lag. Yeah. Right? But it does limit her options. So how can Pattaya pressure ledge against Bayonetta to really maximize his opportunities to reversal these strengths find the stock up and find the win if you just let snowy get back uncontested a lot of the time like that there it's going to be really hard to come out on top of the set no absolutely finally getting a, a hit off but not going to kill just yet so fair play to snowy for you know his survivability as a character like bayonetta against kazuya getting a lot of this extra credit because Ty is bleeding a lot right now. And that's the thing with Bayonetta is that she is so good with her combos. It does so much damage that even if you're ready for it, it's just going to hit every single time. It's going to hurt every single time. So, Bataya, he's got to find an opening. Basing, though, there from Snogi, the feedback fair one, right? Did you see that? To just drift back, stay under the lip of platform to again, right, just give himself the optimal positioning relative to the other platform for the combo extension should it hit. Even though it didn't do so, it's still gonna be Snogi's turn and getting this Ooh. caught at ledge, gonna force the air dodge out and no resources, Pattaya able to make it back, but just by the skin of his teeth. Again, excellent spacing from Snogi, right, fading back that up air, one of the best air-to-air -air moves in the game. And even though forward throw's not gonna do it yet, you're really seeing Snow how well Snogi knows this matchup. And makes me wonder, mm just how far this man can go in the bracket tonight. Yeah, and clearly he's going pretty far if he's able to go up toe-to-toe -to -toe against a player like Pattaya. This is only winner's round three, by the way. <laughs> That's absolutely crazy to me. But right now, it's not looking too hot for Pattaya as he's just landing onto all these different options that Snoki's trying to look for. Of course, he had the up tilt, but went, the up is finally going to take that stock. And he went for up tilt into that witch twist there. Not a true combo, just trying to find the call out on a panic jump. But a lot of Kazuya's won't panic jump at all because even though their double jump is fine, their single jump isn't. And because the resource is so valuable, they just won't expend it there and they'll take the extra hit instead. Um, so just kind of getting caught in a little bit of a matchup check, a knowledge check there, but still able to recover regardless. And now Snogi having this chance one more time. I'm finding it in the conversion off just the raw up though once again it's been his his creativity off these raw juggles that has really impressed me so far in this mm -hmm. game one yeah and clearly the advantage state of snogi has been more superior than it has been for uh Pattaya. and i think that just attributes to the fact that Pattaya hasn't been able to find openings of course finding it there with the electric into the up b but Again, it just really comes down to those openings, and Snogi has been doing a good job not allowing Bataya to get, you know, one hit off. Of course, with oh, that no. electric, the F smash not going to kill, but hey, man, extra damage is something you kind of need, especially in these situations. Good damage right there, 69%. Yeah, He's and, definitely brought it back. And pressuring you here to the ledge, but this has been the question, right? Not a single contested ledge interaction all game long for Bataya here. And that's what we were talking about earlier, right? Snowy is getting these chances. He's not killing as optimally as a lot of the Bayo mains, even like GTQ here in the building. But what we are seeing is just get, he's getting so many chances, it doesn't matter. And Pattaya now having potentially one more to get his feet here on the ground. It, unless the shoulder check does it, it will. And that's going to be it for game number one. Pattaya has one more chance, and he's really got to clean up that ledge, man. Yeah, no, I mean, again, that really just came down. You were talking about it before. 
was that Pattaya just did not contest ledge whatsoever. It allowed Snowgate to just come back every single time without any failure. And so Pattaya's got to find a way to pressure Snowgate offstage. Even though Bayonetta has a very, very good recovery, of course, with Witch Twist, Pattaya's got to find a way to adapt to that. And he has, he's, he's been able to have the ability to do so. It's just whether or not he can actually, uh, you know, make that come to life. Oh, whole that shit, not bad stage. No, not a bad stage for either of these characters. I know Bayo players love it because that central flat hat might gives you her the perfect opportunity to either find combos off ledge or center stage. They just juggle, juggle it, find the extensions and landing traps with up tilt as well, and really just find so many combo openings. But same with Kazuya, right? That first tech is so strong on this stage. Your combo strings can just do so much here, and you can kill off the top or sides crazy early Ooh. regardless. It's great stage for both players. Makes sense why we went here as the counter pick. But the question is really going to be, how does Pattaya, once again, lock down the lead and lock down the oh, the, <coughs> the chances Snowgy gets to find these stops? Yeah. And, oh, that might... Nah, it's not going to kill. Good stuff right there from uh, Pattaya. Kind of just to give himself back that stage advantage. But you were talking about it before. It's just whether or not uh, these players can kind of just kill each other. And although but although Kazuya tends to have an easier time to kill, of course, with those confirms, and in reality, sheer raw like, kill power, um, Bandana kind of does rely on a lot of her combos to connect and, you know, potentially get that up to the ABK, of course, uh, being one of the biggest uh, combos that they can hit. But right now, this ledge pressure, uh, this edge guarding from Snogi has been amazing and finally getting that kill with that Nair. Bayonetta is really, really good with edge guarding. It's absolutely crazy. I mean, she just has decently active hitboxes yeah. and a whole lot of movement, a lot of which also just incidentally happens to have hitbox, right? Which allows her to really chase you down and then just push you a little farther away, which is really all that it takes for a lot of the cast to lose their stock in those offstage pressure scenarios. Great turnaround from Pattaya here to find the opening, but does drop it, giving Snowy the opportunity to at least get out of dodge for the moment and trying desperately to find a down tilt and up tilt. Something to get a combo started here because Pattaya's defense has only gotten stronger. This Ooh. is the chance though, and you have to be careful because that could have gone off the top. Ooh. But instead, the reset going to come in. That's still 82%, but at least you're holding on one more time. Yeah, he's... Snogi's holding on, but he's also been able to regain that lead that he had earlier. But unfortunately, that Rage Drive is going to take that stock away. And that's what I was talking about. It's just that Rage Drive uh, Command Grab is going to take away so many stocks so early. It does 40%. Base damage is 40%. That's absolutely crazy. But Bataya finally regaining that lead. <laughs> Again, really back and forth between both these guys. But now it's back to square one with that back air on that platform. And that's another big reason both of these characters love this stage, right? Is the tech chase on platform. If you're standing underneath Ooh. them, you can RTC into the back air there and find the stock just like that. Now, Snowgy barely going to hold on through the hell, the heavens. Not the heavens, heaven's gate, the hell's gate. Yeah, Hell, <laughs> Hell's Gate, thank you. You're Sorry, welcome. Heaven's Door, Hell's Gate, it's one of those <laughs> one of those things that always trips me up regardless. But here, they're in the closing moments potentially of this game, going to find the th command grab, and that is going to be it. Pattaya answering back in solid fashion. Mm -hmm. Again, not through ledge, but just by limiting the opportunities that Snogi had to kill. He just found earlier stocks this time around. He yeah. didn't need the ledge opportunities because he wasn't putting him to ledge. Mm -hmm. At, in game three, who knows if the stage will allow for that, right? Yeah. Who knows what we're going to see? And so I still have the same questions I had in game one, which is can Pattaya here find ways to consistently, without that center plat now, take these early stocks? Yeah. and really pin down this Bayonetta well enough that she does, she has to work with a normal character's number of opportunities to find a kill. Yeah, and uh, again, the, the, your question is kind of trying to be answered right now, Pataya is trying to answer, of course, using that small platform to potentially extend a combo. But again, ledge pressure is definitely going to be the name of the game for Pataya. Should he be able to do so? But I feel like Kazuya doesn't have too many options on ledge. So, I mean, what can Pataya do on ledge? Kind of just to pressure Snogi. I mean, you have thing, you know, you you both have alternate combo routes to avoid those situations proactively. Mm -hmm. You also have things like down smash timing. You just have really, I think you have decent ledge trapping as Kazuya as well. Yeah. Um, 
you know, it's not necessarily going to be the guarding, but it's going to be the how do you catch them off the ledge? How do you find a way to put them back to the ledge and just rinse repeat with pretty much everything Kazuya has, right? Kazuya still has up electric. He still has up air. He still has all of these tools that are great against just so many options, especially when there's a limited set. That dash attack, there you go. perfect example as well. And that's what we were talking about, right? That's the first time we've really seen Pattaya find a socket ledge, and it's going to be a huge difference maker for him, allowing him to have a lead here rather than potentially be a deficit. Yeah. And again, I think it just comes down to also the stage. Small Battlefield, of course, like I said before, was being a smaller stage. So again, if he gets his Rage Drive with that command grab, it's going to be lights out for the stock, especially with Rage. Trying to read an air dodge, not going to get a Snow Geek. Spotting it out. Oh, yep, yeah, there From you go. center. Wow. I thought, okay, well, you know, at ledge, absolutely. In yeah. center, maybe he holds on. Nope. Not, not today. Not nope. against Mr. Mishima. Not against Pattaya. And you're seeing now... Ow, that Snogi has started to get a little impatient, is really forcing some of these interactions. Mm -hmm. And right, because he's trying to find the stuff, but he's also second guessing himself. And that's why we saw him drop the up tilt back here, there, there, just for a read. And that is now why Pataya has him at ledge. And this one could have has gone on woefully out of hand. And now this is going to potentially be Snogi's last chance here if Pataya has anything to say about it. Yeah. Uh, it's difficult to make a comeback, especially, you know, at this deficit, getting hit by the down smash. That's a lot of percentage racked up, and that is a stock taken. There you go, Bataya making that, you know, what, see, what we saw initially in that first game was very dominant from Snoke.